He's off the mark. You get four runs for it, Ramesh. There is no third man. Modern captains do not believe in protection for the quicker bowlers. The batsmen can get off to starts. Lakshman has got off to a start with that streaky shot. That's a nice looking shot from uh, Lakshman. Cheers there for the man at mid-off. I just pull it back. He hasn't. That's a uh, pretty sloppy work there. Lakshman getting a boundary. Yep, nicely played. At least it was straight. Nice straight bat. Lucky bounce over the bowler. And this was diabolical. Look at it. Yeah, that's nicely played. He plays so well, this Lakshman, that it's a, it's a surprise when he plays a bad shot. 16 for no wicket. This outfield is very quick, and moment Ramesh got that fine, that was four runs for the taking. <laughs> Dropped, taken. <laughs> On the second attempt, just what Sri Lanka were looking for, a loose shot from Lakshman, he fended at that one. Bat a long, long way away from his body, and Sri Lanka have struck here. Lakshman dismissed. Good reflexes by the man at first slip. And watch Arvinda De Silva here. The location could have been left. The uh, opener had been uh, really tight on his concentration, but the catch, a brilliant reflex catch from Arvinda De Silva, short. Could have let it go. He had, uh, had a good look at that one. Arvinda De Silva following the ball all the way and they lose the first wicket for 11, Lakshman. So Rahul Dravid comes out to the middle. India have lost their first wicket here. BBS Lakshman, the man dismissed. And he'll definitely be able to extract something out of the surface. Nicely turned around the corner. He's a good player off his hips, Ramesh, and a good timer of the ball. Once again, uh, straying in line, swinging for him, but uh, comfortably to the uh, left-hander, right on his uh, half volley leg side. Just uses the pace of the ball, times it beautifully. This wicket comes on uh, very nicely, and that's there for the picking. Very good balance when he plays the shot. Good wrist work. That's why he gets the placement right. Picks the ball up very early, Ramesh. He's got a good eye. So drop it here off the mark. Should get a couple comfortably. Oh, that's uh, beautifully played by drop it. No problem in putting that one away. Again, it was onto his middle and leg stump. Plenty of open spaces on the onside. So he gets his first boundary. Chirapira trying to uh, drag it back this time. He's been bowling wide also the off time, trying to compensate, coming a little too much. And on this wicket, you uh, pull some half follies and it goes right to the boundary. Outfield very quick. The batting uh, very easy when it's up there. Wicket very consistent in pace. There is no fielder at uh, Midon, there is a fielder at Squelek, he'll have to do a lot of running there. Picks the ball up just uh, a few meters from the boundary rope, India will get three. Ramesh is a young man, playing only in his fourth test match. He's 20 not out, once again getting himself to a start. He's got a start in just about every innings that he's played for India so far. 
apart from the second innings of the first uh, test at Chennai. I think he's got off to a start just about every time. And that is a good bouncer. Appeal there by uh, the Sri Lankan fielders. But I think the ball went off the arm. Yeah, he didn't pick that short ball up, but what he did right was drop his wrist. So at the time of the ball hitting him, the gloves, I think, were a fair distance away from the ball there. The hands were low, and that's good technique. Didn't try and attempt to play the ball. If he would have done that, he would have been in trouble. Just dropping his wrist. All the way. That's been the problem with the Sri Lankan bowlers. Just straight slightly down towards the midland leg, and that's very well balanced right down through with it. Just helping it on the way. It didn't really hit it too much. Came down well, rode the wrist beautifully down to the boundary. Yes, because of the grass on the surface, the ball's coming onto the bat nicely. This was sheer timing. He didn't try and hit it too hard. Nicely on top of it. And again, punch straight down the ground. This should bring up the 100 for India. Another three runs for Dravid. It's a good start after lunch. Seven runs coming off the first two deliveries. Field. Sri Lankan fielding has been really sloppy today. The bowling's lack penetration. The last thing they want is the fielders not to back their bowlers. Defender on this occasion, uh, Eric Kupashanta. Very straightforward. Overran the, uh, on that occasion. Got quite a good bounce. He's uh, really overrun the ball. It's a really poor feeling at the standard. Oh, that's beautifully played. Easy pickings for Dravid. He's reached his 50 in style. Short of a length, and on this pitch, he had enough time to rock back on that back foot. He got the placement right as well. That's a good half century. So, uh, very good uh, innings indeed. From the time he came, he was in trouble on that occasion. You know, with just going right through with it. Saw it all the way through, short, wide. Well, well Wanting the single, Ramesh not interested. So five runs coming off that last over, 110 for one. Now that's a good delivery, put in that extra effort there. And that surprised Robert. It was a little quicker on to him than he expected. gone over Kalu. He just got some glove onto it. Two more runs. By signal by the Empire. Was really putting a lot into that but way too short. And harmlessly just sailing over little Kalu. Just managed to get the tip of his fingers on the occasion, cutting the pace off. Two buys. And that should be it. Single there will bring up another half century for young Sadak Open Ramesh. He's had a good start to his test match career. And his run of consistency continues. A very uh, important half century for India. He's really uh, settling down, not really to uh, carry away with anything. Play the ball on its merit. Plenty of uh, loose deliveries. Played well. Again, excellent timing on that one to pick up three. Also brings up the 100 partnership for the second wicket. Just the kind of start the Indians wanted. A very good partnership between Dravid and uh, Ramesh. 
they've had to contend with some restrictive bowling. This is a glorious shot. On the up, boundary. Once again, played uppishly, but uh, between the fielders at square leg and uh, fine leg, this is a very well played shot by Rahul Dravid. Another single. But what's been amazing, Jeffrey, is in spite of the grass on the track, the batsmen have just hit through the line on uh, more occasions than not. That's four. Don't bother running for that. Juicy half volley, military medium. You just plonk it away, don't you? And again, uh, put away on the onside. This will be the second boundary of the over. So 10 runs coming up that last over from Upashanta, 146 for one. Bouncer up in the air, and he's lucky. Could have easily gone down the throat of that man at fine leg. He was surprised by that short delivery, Ramesh. Well, he got himself into a horrible position, almost as if he wasn't expecting the short ball. And he never got inside the line. Look, he gets in a right mess. Once the ball gets above shoulder height, it's very difficult to keep it down. He's got past that man and shot extra cover, the Sri Lankan captain. So three more runs to Ramesh. So that will bring up the 150 for the Indians. It's 152 for one. getting hold of it but he'll still pick up a single a miss field there so nothing's going right here for Sri Lanka so another run for Dravid see off stump he'll get creamed all day there as soon as he bowls off stump Ramesh is going to cream in through the covers anywhere he's just going to go through the offside You can't bowl off stump at him, you've got to be lucky to get him out there. He's a very fluent offside player. Again, a run out here if the hit was direct. Dravid was charging down the track, Ramesh wasn't even interested. And what's surprising, the keeper wasn't really backing up. Well, suddenly everything's happened. We had an airy fairy shot from Ramesh. Now we've got Dravid nearly running himself out. There's no need for it. They're scoring quite nicely. They've got the bowling in the pocket. They've just got to hold the concentration together. I'm really surprised that the wicket keeper was not up there to the stumps. We might see a little bit of Arvinda De Silva as well. Good shot back by uh, Satkop and Ramesh. It'll go to the boundary. Arnold drifting onto his pads. <laughs> Ramesh setting off for what he thought would be a single. Dravid set, sending him back. Well, it does look as if uh, a run out might be the only way that this partnership might be separated. So well are these two batting. Hit it quite firmly. Hashan Tilagaratna making a good effort and turning around and uh, having a go at the non striker Ramesh. He made it to the crease uh, quite safely, Ramesh. He was quick to turn back. Beautifully struck by Rahul Dravid. Just a little bit of width, half folly, and he's smashed it for a boundary. That is a tragedy, or is it? Big misunderstanding that between Dravid and Ramesh. And in the end, I think uh, the throw was not quite up there, so Ramesh will survive. So the uh, 
Only way Sunil Gavaskar said that they will get out, it's run out, and on that occasion they come very close to that just before tea. That would have been a big disappointment to the youngster. We could keep a Ramesh Kalivitar no, not there. He's the broken the stumps, but the umpire pretty cuts so confident that the uh, he had made his ground. Rahul Dravid wanted to go for it this time. Sadgopal Ramesh sending him back, making sure there is no scope from any misunderstanding. It's 184. The first test match 100 for Sadagopal Ramesh. Again, lovely timing to get that boundary. And off goes the helmet, up goes the bat. And this will be a huge relief for the young man. Really deserves it, Ramesh. He's been so consistent. And this is all a start of a test career. One of the most consistent starts you can get. And he has 450s to his name already, but this is the one he'll remember. Played a stock shot to get to that figure of 100 square of the wicket. Again, great timing on that one. A very safe shot with those feet moving. And it's again, not trying to force the ball. Just getting the placement right, allowing the ball to come onto the bat. He's got good soft hands on the bat. before again beating that man at point just opening the face of the blade there to get the placement right all the Indians merciless on the Sri Lankan bowlers and this is a stock shot for Ramesh on the up just opening the face speeds away that's 203 now for the Indians This one wicket down, totally dominant by the Indians here. As a result of that shot now, Ranatunga going on the defensing. He has a man at uh, third man now. You can see here, cannot afford to give too many runs away. The Indians are in a great position at this moment. And again, this time through the covers. The result will be the same. He doesn't play the cover drive too often. He tends to favor the square area when playing the drive. But he also can play these. Again, not much feet movement. But the bat face not very open this time, enabling the ball to go to covers. That's where the big gap was. That's good thinking by Ramesh. This is the time when the Indians can really cash in on the Sri Lankan bowling. Let's move to 111. And it will be 115, the third boundary of the over. So he's finding the gaps here, Ramesh. Runs coming up plenty for the Indians now. Pitch right up. Good timing, bat coming down straight and again fielding that would have been stopped on any other day by a Sri Lankan fielder. But today, things really not working for them. Run! They'll have to hurry here. Taking a few chances are the Indian batsmen. He takes the aerial route and he does it in style. Good use of his feet. Got inside the line of the ball there and hit it straight over the bowler's head. Well, I haven't seen him play this shot very often. But then he's passed his 100. And he's in good form. That's a lovely shot from Ramesh. Beautifully executed. This is a lovely shot. He's dismissed it from his presence. Yes, yeah, he's no uh, margin for error, hasn't Vast. The medium pace on here. The ball's just sitting up short of a length, and he's just taking it from outside off stump, use his height to stand up on top of the ball, take it on top of the bounce, and just work it away. Ah! 
Was that an opportunity? Was that a missed opportunity? Well, I think he hit the pad. The start the Indians have got. The Sri Lankan bowlers would do well. That's a not nice shot, that. Stepping down the pitch. Driving it straight. Well, the confidence and the thinking were, were good there. He just surprised the bowler because he hasn't really left his crease before. And then suddenly, a little chasse and belts it straight back past the bowler. And this is very well played too. She's bowled a little wide. Good save that by uh, Ferreira. I just think this is the wrong tactic. It's going across the left-hander. If it turns a bit, as it did, then it goes wider of off stump and makes it easier for him to use his offside shots. short of a uh, hundred ah! just a little bit of turn over. appeal there Kurtzen not interested 245 for one just gets a hand to it but Robert will still pick up a couple Pereira, the fielder. It's never the same once a, a top-class bowler goes uh, and uh, for injury and tries to come back. The thing that uh, was was he had the ability to bring the ball back into the right-hander, which uh, he seems to have lost uh, since injury. that's uh, both bothering both Dravid and uh, Ramesh out there. This partnership at 228 with uh, few, no flaws at all. Just batted uh, very confidently. Bowling has not troubled him in any sort. So was coming back to over the wicket now for Dravid. up in the air and again not carrying to that man at square leg the fielder has been stationed deep drop it never got hold of that one the only time they've seemed as if they've uh, drawn into a four stroke has been the short delivery seen on a quite a few attempted to try and go for that one getting the top of the bat not traveling to the uh, fielder Arnold understanding three quarter way down if he's in the uh, standard orthodox position he would have had that one take it. in the air and taken arjuna ranatunga was positioned there specifically to take that catch it was hit officially a lazy shot from ramesh a tired looking shot and straight to ranatunga but an end of a superb innings here Sadak open Ramesh finally dismissed. India have lost their second wicket. Ramesh departs after making 143. This is how he was dismissed. And he's away with the boundary. That's easily put away by Tendulkar. He got the room. It was short. And cut away again. That'll be another boundary. That's waste away to the fence. Oh, that's glorious. That is ominous from Sri Lanka's point of view. 266 for two. 
Oh, he's got that one away. Again, the attempted Yorker, but converted to a full toss by Dravid and bangs straight down the ground. So that will take him to 96. And this is a lovely shot. To pitch it up to the little man. Doesn't have much of a backlift, doesn't have much of a follow through. But when it strikes the middle of his bat, it powers its way to the boundary. Will he get those two runs to get to his century? Tendulkar will come back very quickly. Yes. That's another test century for Rahul Dravid. One more century overseas. This is his fifth century, the Indian dressing room, standing up to applaud uh, Rahul Dravid's effort. Smile on the young man's face as Sachin Tendulkar walks down the pitch. given Sonny for a few of those at Calcutta eh? that's right uh, nothing quite like getting a hundred uh, before the Eden Gardens crowd imagine a hundred thousand people applauding you no it's a fantastic feeling 280 for two that's a nice shot Waited for the ball to come on, played it very late. And is it out? Yes, on the third attempt. That was a catching position, uh, Jeffrey. He's taken the catch. I never said that he couldn't catch. It's just that he doesn't like running. And there was the mistake. Raul Dravid to making a very fine hundred. Just lost concentration to a little bit of a gentle, medium, slow delivery. Wide outside off stump, could hit it anywhere, and he decided to hit it straight to the deepish gully. Now, that's sort of a deepish orthodox gully, he's given himself a couple of yards extra to catch it. Little bobble, but he's got it. He's always had a good pair of hands. Ralph Dravid 